Did you know, in 2014, Fabio Fognini was fined $20,000 for breaking his racket, mistreating the tournament official, and making an obscene gesture to his opponent? That was the largest fine at the Wimbledon tournament to date. These are the 15 most disrespectful moments in tennis history. Number 15. Nick Kyrgios has done everything from verbally abusing fans, tanking, mocking opponents, and smashing rackets to raging against the official. Nick Kyrgios is seen as one of the best wasted talents in tennis history. <laughs> Even John McEnroe has questioned the behavior and attitude of Kyrgios on court several times. Probably, in the tennis world, he is without any doubt ranked number one in the list of people paying fines. Besides, in the Cincinnati Masters 2019, Kyrgios was slapped with a record-setting $113,000 fine for five different unsportsmanlike behaviors. Number 14. Serena Williams lost her temper and abused the umpire's decision in 2018 at the US Open when 20-year-old Naomi Osaka defeated her. Williams had a problem with the umpire's distribution of points and was given a three-code violation for calling umpire Carlos Ramos a liar and a thief and hitting her racket on the court. Number 13. John McEnroe was obsessed with winning. This is not strange, but what's strange was how much he hated losing. John McEnroe would swear at umpires and shoot balls at them if he was angry with the decision. The phrase, you cannot be serious, that he told a referee became one of the famous lines in tennis history. Later, the Daily Express gave him the nickname Super Brat. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line. Number 12. <laughs> Caroline Wozniacki drew a lot of attention when she did an act of imitation of Serena Williams. Tennis players have the custom of impersonating one another for fun. Her act made her action debatable between racist and funny which made it one of the most shameful moments in tennis history. Number 11. Jimmy Connors was one of the greatest players in tennis who always attracted his fans with toughness, excellence, and passion for the game. One of his popular heated moments happened in the US Open of 1991. After making a bad call, he subjugated the umpire and flooded swear words towards him. Number 10. One of the surprising names on this list is the 2013 International Tennis Hall of Fame inductee, Martina Hingis. Even after gaining so much success in tennis, Martina is no stranger to controversy. Hingis's famous controversial statements came in 2001 when she told Time magazine that being black has helped the Williams sister. She also said that they get advantages and sponsors due to their skin color. You've got this huge thing that has blown up the Time Magazine cover of the Williams sisters. Do you feel that, I mean, you're, you're getting into a lot of attention, so is that other more? Number 9. In a legendary non-Grand Slam match at the Rogers Cup, Rafael Nadal smacked Novak Djokovic in the face with a backhand shot near the net. Nadal, who went on to beat Novak, hit a drop shot in the third set that made Djokovic come to the net, and after smacking his drop shot back to Nadal, got a little more tennis ball than he probably anticipated. The same way, but, but one is not here and another here, you know, and then we, we play both from the baseline. Number 8. During a doubles exhibition match in 2013, Andy Murray hit coach Ivan Lendl in the chest at Queen's Club, which sparked wild celebrations. Murray yelped with joy, jumped up and down, and raised his hands aloft in delight while Lendl smiled as he returned to the baseline. Number 7. Unlike in other sports, it's rare to hear the term match-fixing in tennis. But the name of Daniel Kullera runs to our mind when match-fixing pops out. He's the first person to get a lifetime ban for attempting to fix matches. 
Under the rules of sports anti-corruption, he was guilty of three separate violations. In 2010, the Austrian was suspended for three months after confessing he created a personal website to bet on matches. Number 6. In a stunning display of strong emotions from one of the coolest players in tennis, a frustrated Federer hits his racket on the ground. It was during the Miami Open in 2009 that he played with Novak Djokovic. Another forehand. Wow. When, when do you ever see Roger Federer destroy a racket? Number 5. Leighton Hewitt is one of the famous players whose accomplishment is overshadowed by controversies and his attitude. One of his famous bitter moments happened in the 2001 US Open. During the match, a black linesman called out a foot fault on him twice. Later, he was seen accusing the linesman of calling flaws against him due to the color of his skin. Number 4. Marinko Metasovic has had limited success in his senior career. However, Matasovic appears to have an attitude problem. He got the nickname Mad Dog from the media and the audience. He made a comment on women's tennis that became controversial in 2014, saying he would never hire a tennis coach who's female like Andy Murray. Number 3. Ernest Gulbis earned a nickname as a wild child of tennis for becoming the rude and controversial player that he is today. He's now popularly known for his attitude and comments. In 2014, he stated that women should not pursue their careers towards becoming professional tennis players. Apart from that, he has many incidents of breaking rackets and confronting and cursing the umpires. Number 2. Ilya Nastase earned the nickname Nasty for his impertinent and rude actions on and off the court. <laughs> How to stay loose and there's a home run. Left field, Bjorn Borg. He's hot. Even after retirement, Nastase faced a ban for insulting female players in multiple incidents. He once even made racial comments about the unborn child of Serena Williams. Number 1. In tennis, getting emotional during an intense game is normal, and it isn't easy to control them sometimes. During the 2016 Wimbledon, Victor Troiki snatched the ball from the ball boy's hand and questioned the umpire, calling him evil and the worst in the world. Besides, he's popularly known for serving a one-year ban due to an anti-doping rule violation after missing a blood test in 2012. So, that is a wrap from today's video. Tell us your opinions in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates. A thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates.